Yuma. Yuma. Jeez, go away! You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The huge hole in this investigation. What are you... Just ignore him! Let's review your deduction, shall we? The culprit took advantage of Amapau's locked position and entered the lab. And before the robot entered the room, that person stabbed the doctor from behind. However, they bumped into Amapal while escaping, causing it to fall over. That was obviously a mistake, but since it wasn't captured on video, they were able to avoid detection. After that, the culprit went inside the decontamination device in the airlock to hide from you. That's correct. So what's the hole in my deduction? It's before all of that. It remains the case's greatest mystery. Which is? How did the culprit get past security? What? We already told you that! The culprit rode on top of Amapal as Master controlled it and was taken all the way to the doctor's lab. But if someone was riding on it, how did they get past the high voltage shocks in the panel chamber? Oh. <laughs> this is the end for you! You have nowhere left to go! Oh, come on! Why now? I won't let you maggots ruin the peace of Kanai Ward! As the King of Amaterasu Corporation and the Guardian of Kanai Ward, I will stop you here and now! Perhaps this, too, is an obsession. Why does he insist on covering up the truth? Tell me, what will you do, Yuma? Are you going to stay willfully blind? No, I'll fight! Whether it's subconscious or not, I won't look away from the truth. I'll find the truth no matter what. This is for the Chief and everyone at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. <sighs> <laughs> Good luck! You'll never find it. You'll scurry around this labyrinth forever, like blind mice. You'll run away, looking for an answer that will never come! Keep playing with your shit deductions. Solve the greatest mystery! How did the culprit get past the security? The critical lab security system was always live. There was no way to reach the doctor. The panel chamber shocks would have fried the culprit. That security system? No living human can breach it! Don't tell me the culprit is a robot! Hmm. But... That's right! Keep playing with your shit, Dutchies. You still haven't solved the greatest mystery! How did the culprit get past the security? The critical lab security system was always live. There was no way to reach the doctor. The panel chamber shocks would have fried the culprit. That security system? No living human can breach it. I'll flash through this mystery. <laughs>
a human could get past the panel chamber by using Fubuki's forte. In fact, that's how we got past the panels. The high voltage shocks kept destroying Amapel. But we reversed time every time that happened. Correct. So whenever it was struck by the current, it went back in time. But while that was occurring, the culprit, a human, was riding on top of Amapel. That person was burnt to a crisp every time you failed. But... Which means you killed the culprit over and over again. Vivia? If only you had chosen to remain ignorant, I would have walked beside you in silence. But if you intend to seek the truth, then I must stand in your way. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? He's going to betray you, Master. Betray me? It's up to you, Yuma. This is your final chance to save the world you believe in. What are you going to do? It's time to decide your past and your future. Why, Vivia? gas chamber. It's impossible to avoid the gas. The culprit would surely die. You should already know this, right? The gas is a special trait. The gas can see through even a gas mask. No ability can nullify its toxicity. Once it hits you, you're done for. You die before reaching Weska. No one This is the truth! If you pass through the toxic gas, you'll die, but you'll have 30 minutes before it kills you. Which means you could survive for 30 minutes. What? Don't tell me! There are no gas masks here that can block this toxic gas, and no fortes that can nullify it. 
there's only one way you could get through it. You do nothing. You endure it in hopes of Amapel taking you to the next room. Then the culprit didn't do anything to counteract it and just pass through the toxic gas? It's the only explanation that makes sense. This is the truth. I can't believe it. But if the culprit really did just endure the toxic gas... Then they... The culprit... The culprit is... It appears you finally glimpsed the truth. Well, how does it feel to have your world shatter before your eyes? Isn't this what you wanted? Huh? What? What's he talking about? Yomi's mystery phantom and Fifia are both right. Subconsciously, I didn't want to know the truth. Huh? Up until now, the mystery labyrinth was withholding the mysteries that led to the culprit. And that's because... It's a reflection of my own reluctance. Master, what's wrong? Do you know who the culprit is? It's the Hitman, right? <sighs> the truth is worthless. Nothing has less value in this isolated, rainy city. No one wants the truth. Not even you! Rot away, and die right here! No one will get in my way! Kanai Lord, Amaterasu! They both belong to me! If the culprit carried out the crime like you deduced, then they should be dead from the toxic gas. But no one at the scene has died from poison. If you can understand that much, then what are you still doing here? You're right that no one in that lab died from that toxic gas. But that was part of the culprit's plan from the beginning. They plan to distort the facts of their death. Yuma, are you sure you want to face the truth? Your world will fall apart. The world that you believed in. Your deduction is wrong! Don't disturb the peace! It's not even worth debating! Is this the best you can do to refute it? Just give up and die! Shit! With this, I'll expose the truth! <laughs> culprit misrepresented their death by using... the Hitman. <laughs> the culprit realized their plan would be exposed if someone in the lab died from toxic gas. So they used the Hitman to cover up their own death. Used the Hitman? Meaning, the Hitman wasn't hired to assassinate the doctor. They were hired to cover up the culprit's death by toxic gas. Huh? The hitman's target was the culprit? Not the doctor? But the doctor was stabbed by the knife with the inscribed F. Doesn't that belong to the hitman? All you would need is a similar knife. 
The story of Fink the Slaughter Artist using a knife inscribed with the letter F is well known. Nah, we leave it alone until we receive further orders. Did you see the knife stuck in his back? It's the one that Fink the Slaughter Artist uses, right? I've heard about his knives inscribed with the letter F. So, it was all a ruse? The real culprit made it look like the hitman did it? S stop. Stop, 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 stop! You useless garbage! To hell with detectives and the truth! I will let you have your way in my city! There is no real culprit! Dr. Wesco was killed by the hitman! Huh? What's going on? Who is the real culprit? The real culprit? The real culprit is... The time has finally come, Yuma. It's time for you to acknowledge what you've known all along. If the tiny crack spreads any further, the mirror will shatter, exposing the chaos of the real world. Knowing this, will you still expose the truth? Then, show me your conviction! The clues pointing to the identity of the hitman's target. I know. I've known all along. Now, expose the truth. Do it if you want to burn the world down. The bloodstained photo found in the hallway near the lab. There was a person pictured with a woman. That was the hitman's target. The real culprit behind this case. The blood obscured the person's face. But I know who it is. It could only be one person. It could only be... How do you know? That person in the photo is the hitman's target. And who is it? It's... It's... No! Stop! Don't you dare say another word! No one wants the truth! I don't understand, but... Good luck, Master! I'm always by your side, haunting you! Huh? 
Hey! Why is Fuzzhead here? Chief Yako was the only person attacked by the Hitman in the lab. In other words, the Chief was the Hitman's target. But Chief Yako tried to hide that photo by tossing it behind the houseplant. He hid it knowing it'd be an important clue. And that's because the person in the photo is Chief Yako himself. It was given to the Hitman so he'd know his target, and the Chief tried to conceal it. Which means the blood covering the face on the photo was likely done on purpose. Uh, hold on, Master! Uh, are you serious? You're really saying Fuzzhead is the culprit? <laughs> really? I don't buy it! You think he actually put together this elaborate murder? He's knocking on Death's door just for this? I don't want to believe it either, but there's no other way. The Phantom vanished. The truth has been mostly exposed, and the Labyrinth cannot function much longer. Anything I do now might not matter. But I'll do it anyway. Because it's something I must do. While the Chief takes his final breaths. Vivia. Yuma. If Chief is the culprit, then what about that death threat? Why would the Chief send it if he was the killer? Answer me, Yuma. By sending that note, everyone would believe the doctor's life was in danger. Which was necessary for this sequence of events to take place. All the master detectives headed to the secret lab because of that note. Chief Yako brought them here to take advantage of their abilities and murder the doctor. Huh? Their abilities? But... The death threat wasn't sent just to the detectives. The peacekeepers received it too. What was the point of that? Why put them on high alert? What is the truth behind it all? was sent to the peacekeepers because they were also part of the plan. When the peacekeepers received the note, they dispatched a lot of their personnel to the scene. The master detectives were able to take advantage of the commotion to enter the facility. They did it by disguising themselves as peacekeepers. It would be convenient to have a lot of peacekeepers around, if you want to get into the lab disguised as one. This is why the Peacekeepers also received the death threat. <sighs> hey, you still want to do this? It's not too late to give up. I am well aware of the danger. I haven't gotten this much exercise in a long time. But this is something I must do. I can't leave the Chief like this. Vivia... Let's continue, Yuma. So, everyone disguised themselves as peacekeepers and entered the lab. You were already at the lab, and that's where you met up with the Chief, right? Yes. 
But we decided to split up after the blackout occurred. Wait, wait! That blackout should have caused a commotion. If we leave now, the peacekeepers will see us. I knew it. This place is crawling with them. What do we do? I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. The chief said he'd buy us some time, but he actually went and hid inside the airlock. Was the blackout part of the plan? So the one who caused it... Was that also the chief? The Chief was with me in the security room at the time of the blackout. It's impossible for him to have caused it. So the only person it could be is the Hitman. It must have been part of the job. He instructed the Hitman to cause a blackout at a specific time. But... why? It made us think the Doctor was in danger, so we'd go check on him. We used Amapel and Fortes to get through the tight security system. Chief Yako had it all planned out from the start. He used us to break through the security so he could kill the doctor. So, Master using Amapel and the Sheltered Skink's time-reminding ability at the panel chamber? That was all part of Fuzzhead's plan? The only way to get past security was to use both Amapel and that Forte. The Chief knew we'd figure that out. I think it's more like... He trusted us. He trusted that we would arrive at that conclusion. I'm counting on you both. See you later. Trust? How could this be a trust thing? He was clearly taking advantage of you all! <sighs> he gathered the master detectives using a fake death threat, then used their fortes to commit murder! What a scumbag! He used you all to get away with murder! 